jobs are a major issue in this election season, and the latest jobs report is providing fuel for Republicans and Democrats. More jobs being created, that's the fifth consecutive month. Unemployment rate, though, ticked up a notch. Joining us now is the Commissioner of Labor and Workforce Development for the state of New Jersey, Hal Wirtz. Welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me again. It's a pleasure we've, to be here. We've heard the, uh, that the unemployment rate is simply a reflection of more college kids and others uh, reaching the job market. Is that how you read it? Oh, there's no question. You had a, you know, we had over 8,700 people enter the labor market since May. Um, I just came back from a meeting with fellow commissioners and actually had 28 states um, in the nation ticked up and one tenth of a point or more. So this is a, a normal thing. Um, you know, we had just come off of four great months of declines and we declined nine tenths of a point in, um, in a row, which was the biggest decline since 1977. So you know, um, it was to be expected, and uh, we did have a lot of people enter the, the labor market, so that's good news. You had your high school graduates and your college graduates, and just people who are feeling more encouraged by the um, job news that they're re-entering the market. So. With that level of encouragement or, or optimism on the part of potential uh, job seekers, would you expect that the rate would continue to tick up, or do you think it'll start sliding back down again? Look, we're hoping that it continues to slide back down again. I mean, one-tenth, you know, I always tell everyone the volatility of month to month really means nothing. I mean, the trend is our friend. It's our fifth month in a row of job creation. We had nine out of the last 11 months of, of job creation. Year over year, we created 75,000 um, jobs in the state of New Jersey. Actually, this year, um, at the rate we're going, we're on track to have maybe the biggest job creation year in um, history of the state of New Jersey. You, so You had in May also, I, I want to talk about the June sure. numbers, but the May numbers were revised upward uh, by 3,000 jobs. How do you find that? How, you make these revisions on the basis of what? Well, the Bureau of Labor Statistics now does all the numbers out of D.C. and they send them to us. We actually are just the messenger and mm -hmm. deliver them. But that goes to show what I always tell folks who are asking about the volatility shows. You know, we added 3,000 jobs, which is great news, and then we added 46. Um, hundred jobs this month. Right. Um, in the last two months alone, we've created 21,000 jobs in the state of New Jersey. So the preliminary, preliminary numbers, we don't put too much faith in until they're confirmed the, mm -hmm. the next month. But, you know, over um, since the low point of the um, job losses, which was February 2010, or Governor Christie's first full month in office now, we're up to 148,000, actually over 148,000 private sector jobs um, um, have been created. So, you know, we had lost 250,000 jobs coming into this um, recession. So we've, we've recaptured over 60 percent of the total jobs lost, and almost all of them are in the private sector. Well, yeah, but this last jobs report, almost 75 percent were in the public sector. There were, what, 1,300 jobs, I believe, created private sector and about 3,000 something yes. in the public sector. What happened there? The 2,300 jobs created on the state level, we think, are mostly the parks. The DEP does a lot of hiring, and New Jersey Transit does a lot of seasonal hiring. So we think that those numbers, again, will balance out that um, the state, you know, we know it didn't increase those type of payrolls, but we do know that there's a lot of seasonal hiring going on by um, New Jersey Department of um, DEP and the transit system. So and we think those are. Local governments as well, yeah, I presume. Yeah, local governments had some of the jobs so, in too. So you'd expect thousand. that number to start to slide back down again in terms of, of government hiring? It's such a small, small number. I mean, yeah. overall, I think it can move. You know, we're having, you know, we do in my department alone, we have a lot of retirements, and so we have to um, backfill those. But, you know, government, um, I think that's such a small swing. This month is a huge percentage of it again, but I think over the course of the year, out of all those jobs created year to year, I think 10,000 were in government, counting federal through local government, out of 150,000 jobs. One of the other things that I noticed in this report is that the, the biggest job growth area uh, was in the hospitality industry. Uh, and that the manufacturing continues to suffer. Hospitality obviously doesn't pay proportionally what manufacturing used to. Are we headed towards uh, an era of, of growth in lower paying jobs, do you think? Okay, I don't think so. I mean, leisure and hospitality, you know, this is the season that you have a lot of hiring in it. The second category, um, which we had tremendous hiring in, was professional and business services, or not tremendous, but the second amount of hiring, and also financial services, which are two higher paying sectors. So, no, I think that, you know, with, with um, the shore, you know, recovery in place and, you know, from Atlantic City on up, I think a lot of those jobs, you know, the, the seasonal um, and retail and hospitality could be in that area. But, no, I think we're also creating a lot of um, um, high-paying jobs in the professional business services and financial services. The manufacturing is definitely a, um, a you know, a tough one. And, and um, I saw your interview last night with mm -hmm. Dean Hughes, and, and I think he's right on target that manufacturing is, is very tough and that the um, heydays of New Jersey's manufacturing unfortunately seem to be over. But we are working on a lot of different things to um, help the manufacturing industry. And we just recently got a large um, federal grant to help pilot programs that we've been successful in retraining people in manufacturing and helping different manufacturers. So. Well, we'll leave it there for now. Check back with you again next month. We always thank you for coming in, sir. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.